Hello, and welcome back to Dr. B Plays Mermaid Swamp. The only game guaranteed to have both a swamp and a mermaid. <clears throat> yeah, hello and welcome. In this episode, we're going to do something fantastically stupid. We're going to read some text and then jump in the swamp. Whee! Ah. I can only assume we're gonna find Atlantis here. Or Ariel. Or Ariel-Atlantis! Which sounds like a weapon! That'd be the coolest shit ever! Ariel-Atlantis. It's like a gun lance or some shit. It shoots energy proton beams and what not have you. Hey, a thing! Sweet! <gasps> What's this? A hairpin? Why is it in the swamp? Exclamation point! Oh shit, oh shit. Run, run please, run faster. Stop not running. Damn it, woman. You're slow. G -g Let go! Let go! Oh, oh no. I can't breathe. Could you breathe before underwater? I don't get what. Are you dying? Oh, hi, Sitaro. Gah! Pant. Pant. Oh, wait. <gasps> Damn it, you idiot. What are you doing? You wanna die? <sighs> S Sitaro, how'd you know I went in? I saw you at the window. I was wondering what you were up to. Then you jumped in. Are you completely bonkers? And then you got a water plant around your leg and nearly drowned. Stop making me goddamn worry. But, but it's true. It really is the mermaid's curse. J just now, a weird black shadow got my leg. Shut up! I'll drown you myself. No, never mind. Mermaid's curse. This is ridiculous. Do something productive, like search for a map. We can't just leave you to alone. You're the one who needs to get a grip. It's obvious there's nothing normal about this. Not after Yuka dying and Utah going crazy. It really is the mermaid's curse. I keep having countless dreams. Please, just believe me. You goddamn b Ugh. Sitaro? Your head hurting again? Yeah, maybe I caught a cold headache since I went walking around. It's my fault, because I wandered away. So then don't do it again. I'll check more on the study. You look around too. Yuko's condition may not be changing, but we can't just wait for that old man. Please. Got it. The sun's setting. It's called a day. I don't get it. Is he dead or not? Just can't sleep. I'm afraid to even dream. Alright, let's explore. I gotta find some lead on getting out of here. Dun 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 It's dark and spooky dun 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 I really hope I don't die. Doesn't look so good. He really wrecked himself. Sorry. Hmm. Now, if I were a clue, where would I be? Probably on Blue's paw print. But, we don't have time to wait for that dog. We must, must solve this ourselves. What is this? Oh, Philome. I never liked her. I bet she's in cahoots with the mermaid. I bet. I bet. It's gonna be something here. There has to be something in here. Oh. That's a wicked fast stair transition. Interesting. Perhaps that axe is a way down the fireplace. Oh, wait. Wait. Yeah, I got a rope. I got a rope. Use the rope. Rope. Where is the rope? I could swear I picked up a rope. 
What the hell? Am I thinking of a different game where I picked up a rope? I think I am. Well, shit. My games are crossing over in my mind, and that can never lead to anything. This game probably doesn't even involve seven corpses. Two at most. Son of a bitch. But where? Fridge? Gross. That's gross, Fridge. Stop being gross. I already messed with you. You're a clock. Is this clock the one that diary meant? Mayhaps it is. Mm, yeah. Where the fuck do I go? I get so lost in these games. Can I do something with you now? It's called... Yeah, use the golf club. Finally a purpose. Ooh, what's this? Ah, there was a rod propping it. Why do you need that for a closet? Hmm, a key and a scrap of paper. I found the boiler room key. But I won't tell this to the master. He strictly forbids entry to it. There must be something valuable there. I must check while I have the chance. Found boiler room key and piece of paper. Lovely. Now if we only knew where the boiler room was. I guess I'll just have to go and check every door in the house. But first I'll check the one way over here. Because it's probably this one. No. That room has nothing to do with boils. It's locked. Use the key! Use the key like it was a key! Don't use it like it was a knife. Use it like it was a key. I know it's locked, that's why we use the key! Please work. It's not working. The key is useless. It's a useless key. What about you? A bed. Cut up. Um. I, I guess, I, I don't know why I shouldn't, but, okay. Got a key. Oh, maybe this will be the key to open that room. Now I have two keys. I know it's locked, that's why we have dos kios. Sweet. What the hell? My gosh, I bet I'll look beautiful in one of these. Edo vel... And edo violet Sukasade? A reddish brown kamon. A light crimson kamon. Bright yellow kasode. Reddish brown ferrosode with an iris colored hakama. My gosh, do we expect you to know what these are? Because I don't. Large sacks lean against the wall. Giggity! Oh, this. Ooh, ropes. This rope is too big. But I took it anyways. Now we can explore that beautiful fireplace. Because, you know, fire. Uh, who doesn't need it? Come on, it's fire, guys. You can't just say, oh, well, I'm not a fan of fire, because that's bullshit. Right? Fire's freaking boss. What about Flame Princess, huh? Are you not a fan of her? She's all nice and flaming. Where's the rope? Uh, do I just... Okay. There's a way down the fireplace. Can't go down without a rope or something to tie it to. Hell, I'd like a hammer to nail it down with. But we don't have a hammer. So why don't we have anything to tie the rope to? Tie it to this lighter. Ah, shit. We need to find something to tie a rope to because ropes are so important these days. We just can't possibly leave the rope tied to a chair or a table or every single chair and table in the world, could we? No, no, that'd be ridiculous. Instead, we must search. Search frantically. For the boiling room, yes. Where the hell are we going to find a boiler room, anyways? I know it's a room with the boiler. Hi, Wilfred. Hello, how are you doing? Can you tell me where the boiler room is, please? Wilfred? Wait, okay, I'll check that, Ray. Alright, Wilfred says it is down here. But you know how chairs are. Chairs, they're the chairs. You can't always trust a chair. The door is broken. You can't get in. Damn it! Well, if that is the boiler room, we're screwed. With a capital rude. Roo. Roo. Where is that from? Roo. Like kangaroo, maybe? If we had a kangaroo, none of this would be a problem. That's not gonna work. I don't know why I tried it. Shit. A ripper roo. Do you guys know what I'm referencing there? Ripperoo? 
Come on! He was freaking boss. In the first game, he was just a weird kangaroo dog in a trench coat. Not a trench coat, what am I thinking of? He was in a straight jacket. Yeah, that's it. But in the second game, he was a weird kangaroo dog in a straight jacket with a hat and a mustache. Come on, guys! That's awesome! Ah, uh, these bitches don't know who Ripperoo is. He's the blue one. Remember the blue one? He was blue in both games. And he made, like, a tiny cameo in, um, the Twin Sanity game. I think that's what it was called. Come on, guys! Have none of you bastards played Crash Bandicoot? It was fucking amazing. It was also one of those series started by Naughty Dog. People are like, Oh, hey, look, it's, 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 it's frickin' The Last of Us! And hey, Drake's Fortune, that shit's boss! But before they got into those realistic games featuring humans as the main antagonist, what did they make? They made a game about a bandicoot, and I, what I'm assuming is an elf. Because Jack and Daxter, that bastard has pointy ears, he's clearly an elf, and where the hell is the boiler room? Damn it, man, I can't find anything. <sighs> Maybe it's not even in this one. Maybe it's like in the main house. Which, if so, that'll piss me off. But, there's no time to be pissed off right now. We must be pissed off in the next episode! Thank you for playing. Well, I'm the one playing. But thank you for watching me play. See ya.